Hello everyone. I'd like to focus on shared coordinates this morning with respect to how Revit interfaces with Civil 3D and specifically the linking in of topography. The linking in of topography you can see up here. And what I'm really interested in is the shared coordinates. So we are used to receiving files from civil engineers that give us our easting and our northing typically in meters which we then have to input in millimeters and that helps us to set our um, survey beacon at the moment I've just inserted this into the uh, internal origin of Revit to have some other reference for um, future usage it's not of much meaning where that point is at the moment except that we're going to set the coordinate system according to those lines having a look at civil 3d this is the situation that we are sitting with so later on I then exported the um, Revit model and that's actually a CAD export from a structural model this is the piece of topography that I'm interested in and I've drawn in as lines the northings and eastings and labeled them with the, with the ordinates rather. I then write them or I then composed a paper space from that and printed from the paper space the drawings that I needed. These I exported to model space and that is now what you will see in Revit. So this is directly from Civil 3D. Initially I said to myself, well, this is quite easy. These are exact numbers. So let's just go and apply the coordinate system on our manage tab. Specify coordinates at point, clicking on the line, and we input that as 81 7 55 0. And then remember to add three zeros for the millimetric conversion. Same command again, specify coordinates at point on the line 623. 9800 and three zeros for millimeters. To check our work, we now report the shared coordinates from one of the other lines. 6239750 0 and three zeros, that's correct. 817600 and three zeros, that is correct. We zoom all the way out. There we can see where the survey beating beacon is sitting. This corresponds to the coordinate of Civil 3D 0, 0, 0. Then I'd like to bring the surface in as a topography into Revit. To do that is relatively simple. We go to, you just have to know how you set your surfaces up. I've used a boundary to clip the surface. That's Z1, final grading, FG, and that's Z2, final grade. The FG is for final grade. On the collaborate tab, you'll see that we can publish surfaces. And then we can choose which surface to publish, say Z1FG. And what's great about this is the civil guys can then publish the surface or the surfaces that they need up into then 360. That's great. I'm not going to do that now because those already exist there, they are. That is Z1. 
and that is it too. And because we set the coordinates according to exact numbers, we expect the topographies to come in. Insert link topography. I'm going to go with Z1 link. And there we find it's got a problem. It doesn't recognize the coordinate system. So let's use the align option. And note it comes out in exactly the right place. Now you might say, oh, that's trivial. And yes, it is. However, if you had used the shared coordinate system that you initially created, and remember the server beacon is still in the same place, but if you had used the method that I initially used by indicating what the northing and easting of lines are and propagated it throughout linked models, then you now have the added complexity of having to re-establish a shared coordinate system that all of the links understand. And that could be quite a process if you had already set your files up. So, Autodesk AEC collection for integrated project delivery. It's a great collection. I would not like to touch a topography or a parking lot or parking ramps. Anything complex with regards to roads or infrastructure with Revit. I would prefer to use Civil 3D. And it's a great workflow this. But remember, use the topography to set your coordinate system. Or alternately, you can also set that through an XML file, although I have not tested that yet. But be careful that you use the correct shared coordinate system imposed on Revit by Civil 3D and propagate that through all your linked models. Well, I hope you guys have found this instructive. And let us know here at Micrographics if we can assist you in any way with these workflows. And until next time, enjoy Revit. <laughs>